video as a lot of you have wanted to know what do I get after my ceramic coat or graphene coating at your shop. Well, this video is made for you. Behind me is the products that we recommend to you after you guys get that coating done here and which way you want to do is all up to you. So let's get started first. First, I always recommend if you're going to do a wash, two bucket system. It doesn't have to be by Majestic Solutions buckets, it can be any bucket, just a two bucket system. That way you have one to dip in, grit cover, take off any grit that you get on your vehicle, wash mitt. We use Majestic Solutions or wash mitt, very soft, that way it doesn't scratch your vehicle. You'll dip it in, take all that grit off, rinse it, rinse it again, you're on your way. We recommend using a foam cannon. This is a basic foam cannon that you can get at AutoZone or Vans Auto Parts. You don't need the most expensive one on the market. A basic one, we just upgraded the back piece on it to give it a little bit more pressure and allow it to actually give it a more foam wise, so just FYI. Now, there's been a discussion, which soap do I use once I get the ceramic graphene coating? Now, this, it goes two ways, guys. I like using super foam if you are applying a shocket or the shield graphene coating, the six month maintenance coating. If you're going to be doing this or that, the super foam is the way to go. It just gets the dirt off, makes it nice and clean, no streaking when you apply these two. That one for graphene, this one for your ceramics. Now, if you're not applying this or that, I recommend doing the ceramic wash. This has the SiO2 that you need in it. This will give you the ceramic properties just like these two. This is a very quick wash. It takes me 30 minutes to do. Put it in a bucket. Foam cannon, of course, you have one. You don't have to have one. I just really recommend a foam cannon when you're trying to put any soap on your vehicle as it helps you not as much friction on your paint. So, you can go either or. It's entirely up to you. I do suggest this if you're using the spray applications for later on. If you're not, and you just want a good wash and SiO2 properties restored on your vehicle, then the ceramic bath is the way to go. Now, moving on over here. Now, you do want to apply a spray coating afterwards. What I tell everybody first, surface prep it. Get that prep surface nice and clean using Majestic's white cloths. These are scratch proof, micro, micro scratch proof. Okay? I've had customers get towels from other places. Sheet is not the way to go for towels. The more expensive, make sure that there's no micro scratches. They might say that it's not micro scratching, but I promise you, if you get two towels, I will have to come and fix them for you. So, white towels is what we recommend. Surface prep, quick, make sure it's nice and good. And then you just put this in a bottle, spray here. I do suggest putting a little water mist on there, then spraying on, wipe on, wipe off. Same with this, if you're doing a six month graphene coating maintenance, then you're gonna spray a little water on, spray a little bit of this, wipe on, wipe off. Make sure you get it all guys, because if you don't, it can damage your coating. And then you'll have to give us a call to help you out. So, let's give a rundown. Two bucket system where you're washing, foam cannon if you get one, or if you don't, it's okay. Two washer products we recommend for your ceramic or graphene coatings. Your spray applications, surface prep is a must. I like the surface prep for everything. Shop kit and the graphene coatings to put your SiO2 restoration back on. Or if you just want a nice, you know, if you're in between cleaning, then you could definitely use this. Six month maintenance for graphene only, use this one. And of course they do have a six month ceramic uh, spray also. I just don't have it with me right now. We just ran out. But there you have it guys. I hope this helps you. If you can, like, 